guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Benita. Here we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. Again, if you are new, welcome. So we do videos twice a week. Usually on Wednesday, we have a luxury upload. And then on Friday, we do what we call a Fast Five Friday. If you think you would like it here, I hope that you would stick around. Of course, like, comment, of course, we want you to subscribe. Without further ado, we're gonna get started. So shout out to everyone over on Instagram. You guys are the reason why we're doing this video. We've been talking about my trench coat. I'm sure you can see it back there. I did a small like fall wish list and the trench coat was at the top of my list. I am so glad I was able to ch check it off. I've watched tons of videos. I've, you know, visit tons of stores and I was able to thrift mine. So yeah, if you're on the hunt for the perfect coat, I wanted to do like a guide because I got tons of questions. Where did I find it? How did I find it? That type of thing. Um, thrifting is always a good idea if you're looking for something very like vintage or substantial or if you don't see it in the stores a lot. There's tons of videos on how to thrift. Uh, my girl Tracy over on Instagram, she does closet edits. She is a great thrifter. Of course, I will link her down below, but there's tons of videos on how to thrift, where to thrift. I think Thread Up is considered like online thrifting now. I'm not the best one to ask about like thrifting, but I know that um, you can find really good deals if you choose to do so. Today, we're going to talk about five tips, five ways to find your perfect trench coat. And these are the things that I took into consideration when I was looking for mine. I think that's probably what took me so long. And when I was out here on like YouTube and Instagram, I watched a lot of, um, I'm not on TikTok, but I get a lot of TikTok videos on <laughs> Instagram. So I did watch a lot of like TikToks and Instagram stories and reels about how it should fit. So these of course are like loose ways, like things that help me in order to find the right trench coat for me. You can take some of these ideas and just, you know, apply it to what you're looking for. First thing that I suggest you consider it would be the cut, the actual cut of the trench coat. Because here lately, um, trenches are like on trend, like it's a classic item, but right now they're like popping up. So you wanna think about the cut. Do you want it oversized? Do you want it tailored? Do you want to get like a men's trench coat? Do you want it cropped? Some of the newer brands are putting out like cropped trench coats. I think Cost has one, they're swing trench coats. So you have to decide if you want more of a traditional trench coat like I went with, or do you want kind of like a new take as it relates to the trench? Next thing you may want to consider is going to be the size of it. For, for me, I wanted my trench to be a little more oversized. I wanted to be able to cinch in the waist, but I wanted it to be oversized so that I could actually wear it with like sweaters. I needed the room. I wanted to actually be able to button it up pop my collar and cinch it if I needed to. So I knew that I was looking for like a oversized trench. If you're looking for a tailored trench, you may want to get true to size. And you're going to find more of the tailored trenches made for women only. The one that I have, I believe it's a men's trench coat, even though it was in the women's section. Not quite sure, the jury's still out on that, but I don't have a lot of the darting in the back or on the sides to make it tailored. And you see that a lot more on, you know, trench coats that are made specifically for women. So if you're going for like a tailored, more like polish, you want it to kind of fit you, not necessarily like a glove, but you can kind of still see your curves under the coat, you definitely want to go true to size. Cut and size kind of go hand in hand. It just depends, you know, on how you want it to look. Some people wear trenches as the outfit. They want to wear a tailored trench because that's going to be their outfit. That is, they wear it like a dress almost. If you're looking to do it that way, tailoring, um, or the more fitted one would be better for you. The third tip that I have for you on your journey to find your perfect trench would be a length. So my blue one hits me right at the waist. Again, depending on the cut, depending on the size, you wanna look at the length, how you want it to look. Again, I wanted one to be oversized, so I didn't want like, if I had on a dress, I didn't want the dress to hang out 
underneath the trench with boots you know i wanted the boots to kind of hit where um the trench coat was you know it was just a production for me that is probably why it took so long for me to pull the trigger or find the right one um because i knew that it, I just I knew the style I knew the outfits that I wanted to wear it with and I just needed it to look right quite honestly materials the blue one is more like a raincoat trench let me get it this one is from London fog and I mean it is a very nice well-made trench um, it has a hood because it's more of a raincoat. If the hood was detachable, I could wear it more like a traditional trench. But this is basically my raincoat is what I wear it for. It has beautiful hardware, a zipper, and also buttons. And it has more of, you can hear it, it has more of the nylon um, waterproofing on top. If I layered it right, I could really wear it as a winter coat. But it's really not that thick. It's really a thicker raincoat is really not a winter coat you definitely should consider materials when you're thinking about you know what type of trench that you want um, do you want it to be nylon do you want it to be waterproof um, do you want it to be cotton and I think if you're looking to have the coat in your wardrobe for a very long time if you want it to be a staple in your wardrobe I would go for like cotton 100% cotton or cotton mixtures some of the ones that have more of the natural higher end materials because it's going to stay and it's going to weather really well. And this one came with a wool lining in the inside. I've unzipped it. You see the zipper here. I didn't bring it in here for the video, but it came with a wool lining. So this one is a all weather, all year round coat. It's thin enough now to wear it because it's not that cold here, but when it gets really cold, I'm just going to put the uh, wool lining back in so that I can wear it as a winter coat. I told you guys I got mine for nine dollars so you can spend a little money or a lot. Even though I did purchase that one for nine dollars I was considering getting the full Burberry long length um, trench coat. I looked at it several times. Had it been in the store to try on when I went, I probably would have purchased it. Um, I just didn't want to, you know, blind buy it online because I wanted to fit a certain way. Those run probably between the shorter ones in the store were about 25 and I think the longer one was about three thousand dollars they so they run between 25 up to like 35 you know there's leather ones as well those are even more expensive so you can just kind of play around to see how much you want to spend i knew i really didn't have a problem spending that much if it was the perfect coat because i knew i was going to keep it forever but i didn't want to spend <laughs> that amount the blue one i think that one was about 150 dollars and i knew i wanted to spend a little more than that because that's just typically that's just basically a raincoat and i spent like 150 dollars on that jacket so i knew i wanted to spend more so if we talk about like where to find them like i said burberry you're going to get your higher end ones mango mango has a beautiful one that i almost pulled the trigger on banana republic has a like a wool one kind of like the one i have that's more all weather. I think that one was about $2.99. Then they also had some shorter ones, some thinner ones, about $100, $150. Gap, Gap has really good, like all cotton. Whatever your price point is, you definitely can find one. Of course, I'm going to link all the ones that I was looking at down below. I'm also gonna link some styling videos, all the videos and things. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Thank you again to all the teammates over on Instagram that wanted me to do this video i hope that you guys have had a great week i pray that you have an even a better weekend and i'll see you soon bye